So we haven't had an update on the 3D printer for quite some time, so I thought I'd do one. I haven't been using it a huge amount since the last video, but I've got back into it just recently. Uh, so the main thing that's changed is the extruder. With the old extruder, I had lots of trouble with skipping, um, the bits of which are here. Uh, this is the old extruder, it's very basic, just three pieces of printed plastic. Uh, that has been upgraded to this version now, which uh, it's hard to see, but it's basically clamped here, spools here, and it's got some uh, tubing feeding the PLA in. And out so it keeps it nice and straight all the way through the gearing which uh, I can't really see it in this light but it is a lot better and it's feeding consistently and without skipping so that has solved my biggest problem with 3d printer so that's uh, made things a lot easier in general uh, it's currently printing something at the moment going very well uh, I've been using a fan here which has helped cool the plastic for a couple of prints. Uh, I did try printing a fan mount for this printer, which is what this is here. Uh, the idea being that you put two 40 millimeter fans on these side mounts, and then this connects to the printer carriage. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can do this while it's moving, but it doesn't fit. It's ever so slightly small. To fit on there so I'm not sure if there's a problem with the actual model itself or whether my printer's not printing to the correct scale I need to look into that and figure out what's going on there and print it again but it actually came out very well aside from the fact that it's a little bit too small the print itself I mean it printed let's see yeah, printed like that uh, so it, it did the overhangs and uh, they're all very clean and the holes are nice I've done very little cleanup on this. It uh, came out pretty much perfect. I also printed out another pyramid after I upgraded the extruder. This is what I used to test my uh, extruder with. And as you can see, that is also extremely good. Very clean print there. Although the top went a bit wrong. I think that's because the plastic wasn't cooling quickly enough. So and uh, if I'd used the fan when I printed this, it would have probably gone a lot better. Uh, so that's something to try again, maybe at a later date, but not for now. Uh, I also tried printing these little robots. Uh, kind of didn't work at all. Uh, the base is, again, hard to see in this light, but the base kind of works. And then it all went a bit wrong after that. The, the head's just a complete mess really didn't work at all on that. I uh, printed it again second time with some slightly different settings. Didn't really make any difference. So that was a bit of a disaster. I think again because I didn't have the fan so when it was printing the smaller areas the plastic wasn't cooling fast enough. So it was just printing hot, hot melted plastic onto melted plastic. So it wasn't having a chance to cool and build up the layers. That's my theory anyway, I don't actually know if that's correct or not. Which is why I built this fan mount, so I was going to get a couple of fans to put on it. Um, but currently I'm just in the process of starting to print a TARDIS, which is a model on Thingiverse. This is the first piece. It's uh, working quite well so far. I will give you an update on that when it's finished. Apart from that, that's it really. I will uh, catch up with you in another video. I'm just another quick update on this uh, TARDIS print that I've been doing. I'm having a problem, which I've had with a couple of my prints so far, where just the very corners, if you can see just here, is lifting off the print bed. That should be flat on the print bed. Um, this side isn't quite so bad, but has done it as well. Um, that back edge seems to be pretty good and uh, this back edge is also lifted a little bit but it's not too bad 
But I don't know what's causing these corners to lift when I'm printing. Now, the first time I printed this fan mount, I had the same problem. Uh, I was printing it on the bed, and uh, this edge was lifting up, which is what this print here is, as you can see it. Uh, you need to see a flat surface to see what the problem is, but you can see how much that warped and meant that the print was a failure. Uh, I thought it was because I didn't have any cooling, uh, which is why I put the fan in to try and cool the print down. Uh, that didn't make any difference. So this time I'm not using the fan and it's still lifting on that corner. Um, I'm using the heat bed. I've tried using hairspray. Nothing seems to be working in terms of keeping these edges from warping. I'm not sure what else to try at this moment in time. Um, I don't know if it's the print temperatures or something. I mean, I'm printing at 190, which seems to be giving me a decent flow of plastic. And the heat bed is at 70. Um, maybe that's too hot, maybe it's too cold. I'm not sure. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions on how to prevent these edges from warping, I'd love to hear them. Um, the other thing I didn't mention in the last uh, video or clip was that uh, I've changed the software I'm using for printing now. I was using a program called Prontoface to interface with the printer. Um, but I'm now using Cura. I think it's pronounced Cura. Um, and it seems to be a lot better once you've dialed in the settings. Um, anyone else using a Costle Clear can see my settings there. Maybe if it focuses, 0 0.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 20, 50, 190, 70, 1.75, 100, and then if I come up here, my advanced settings 0 0.4 nozzle size, 40 millimeters a second for retraction. I'll just, I'll just let you read those for a moment. You can always pause the video to see what they are. And I'm not using any plugins, there's my start G code, which is pretty much the default. Just put in my custom Z offset there. Um, apart from that, they're all default settings. If I go up to the machine, uh, machine settings, this is the, these are the settings I'm using. I created two, I created one for Cosmo Clear and for Blue Eagle, just to give them a different name. I'm currently using the Blue Eagle settings, which are these. Seems to be giving me the best results. So if that helps anyone else with the cost will clear, then you can use those settings and give it a try. Uh, the good thing about cost will, this uh, Cura is that it allows you to print the skirts, which is what this little outline here is. Um, Prontoface didn't let me do this. So when you started a print, it just started printing the model straight away from the G-code. Um, but with Cura, you can go to print a skirt, which is basically just a line around the outside. I've said it to go around twice, I think, or maybe three times. I can't remember. It'll be in the settings that I just showed you. Um, and that basically just gets the filament extruding smoothly before it starts on the print. Because one of the problems I was having beforehand was that it wouldn't actually start extruding the plastic at the start of the print. When it, so you'd miss the first uh, half of the layer or so until it actually started to extrude smoothly but with the skirt that problem is solved the only problem i have now is this warping issue and i'm not really sure what's causing it or how to stop it there's no drafts or anything here so um i used to do a bit more research on that and figure out what's going on but just thought i'd let you know about the new software i've been using and i'll keep you updated now, interestingly, when I opened up the next piece to print, which is one of the side panels, I was looking at the settings and I found under support, there's a support type and platform adhesion, and that caught my eye. And looking at this, it says that a brim at a single layer of thick, flat area around your object is easy to cut off and is a recommended option. And it's to prevent corners from lifting due to warping. So... We're going to try adding a brim to this one and uh, it's just working out what to do now but this one finished a couple of minutes ago and if i just pull it off the print platform 
We'll see how bad the warping is. I think it's pretty bad. That's uh yeah, pretty, pretty crap, frankly. It's really badly warped on all the corners. I mean, that's really bad. That's really bad. So we're going to try printing this one with the brim. And uh, if our corners don't warp, then I'll have to print this one again. Uh, if it doesn't. Or if it does still warp, then I'll have to do some more investigation and find out what's causing the issue. Let's get rid of the skirt. That can be thrown away. Let's go over there. That can be thrown away. So yeah, we'll give this a go and see how we get on. It's now printing with a brim. I'm not sure what the brim is. I don't know if it's this section around the outside here. Um, it just looks like a thicker version of my skirt though so I'm not quite sure at this point how that's going to help with the warping because uh, it doesn't seem to be connected to the inner section at all so I'm a bit confused what the brim's all about at this point but we'll let it carry on and see what happens I mean at the start it doesn't it prints perfectly fine at the start it doesn't start warping until about five or ten minutes into the print and then it just gets worse and worse as it goes so yeah I'm not sure what benefit if this is the if this thing here is the brim on the outside I really don't understand how that helps with the warping at the point at this moment in time but we're I well, mind you it's getting smaller maybe it will join up anyway just rambling uh, rambling along a bit there another quick update with the, uh, what was it called, the brim for the print actually seems to have done the trick surprisingly well, I don't know if it's surprising or not to be honest but it is working and I don't have any any warping at all, it's all nice and flat so the brim does seem to do the trick at least for this piece so if I'm going to do the whole TARDIS I need to print three of these, then I need to print the front, I need to reprint the base, I need to print a top, and a couple of other pieces as well I believe. So it's quite a lengthy build, I mean this one so far has taken 56 minutes, uh, it estimates the whole thing to be an hour and a half, probably not far off that long, um, the, the estimation seems to be fairly accurate on the Cura. So just over half an hour, oh yeah, a bit more than about 40 minutes left to go, isn't it? About 40 minutes left to go, and we're 56 minutes through. Looking good so far. Um, probably do another update at the end unless anything disastrous happens. So the print completed. Here it is. It's the uh, first side of the TARDIS, or one of the sides of the TARDIS. I need to print three of these in total. For the three, uh, the two sides on the back. Uh, the inside of it, a little bit rough, but it doesn't matter because it's the inside. You won't actually see this part of it. Uh, there's a little groove in here, which I'm assuming is where this little flange here will slide into on the other two sides to create the box. With the raft, it printed absolutely flat. It's really good, really good print. There's no warping on this one at all. So that that brim uh, option in the printing has solves the warping issue, which is good. So I just need to do, well, say just. I take about an hour and a half each. Two more of these, the front door, and then the top and bottom, and I think that will be our complete TARDIS. And then we'll give it a lick of paint and uh, hopefully we'll have a finished product.